Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to another episode of us building the equipment together. So in the last two episodes, we set up the tripod, the tripod spreader, the mount, and then the OTA, including the electronic uh, focuser, the filter wheel, the camera, the back focus, um, and whew, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. The next step that I'm going to have is I'm going to in install the guide scope and I also want to install, start installing all of the cabling and especially my computer and, uh, and see how we can achieve that. So first things first, the easy part is the guide scope. So the guide scope that I'm using is this thing, a Skywatcher Evo Guide 50 ED. So I bought it because it is an ED telescope and, and basically it has, uh, it's a doublet. So it has two lenses at the front, whereas most um, uh, guide scopes have only one, which gives it like tighter stars uh, at, uh, at focus, which is great for guiding. Uh, it is a bit more expensive than a standard guide scope, but I really uh, like it. It comes with those rings and by default, those rings are mounted. Uh, shoot. Uh, the rings are mounted to this adapter plate there. I'm holding it weirdly because I don't want the screws to fall out. And then you can just slide this into the finder scope uh, uh, mount, which I have on actually the other side of the telescope. But I wanted a very stable connection. So I kind of hacked my way through some weird, um, you know, dovetail kind of thing. So this is like pretty custom made. Um, the, the rings came with the guide scope, the, the guide scope itself. And how I connected, by the way, the camera, my camera here is a 178 mm uh, camera, which has a T connection here, M42. And the guide scope also has M42. So I just can just screw it in. You could also use it as, with a simple, like, you know, nose piece type of camera, like the QHY5 uh, 2L, uh, which could just be slid into it. And then you just uh, close the, uh, the screws around the barrel of that camera. So it can uh, support a lot of cameras and the focus is done via this focus ring uh, here. So it's, it's quite pleasant to actually use. I really like uh, this guide scope and that's something that I would actually recommend. And uh, like you know, I have sold out my soul, uh, but I'll be leaving an affiliate link below um, if you wish to buy this telescope and uh, the price that you see on OPT is good and you want to support me and all the stars align, feel free to use that link down below. Nothing forces you to do so if you find a better price uh, elsewhere. <laughs> Please buy it at a better price. And uh, otherwise, here we are with this. So how am I going to attach that? There's, oh, come on. Uh, where did that go? What did I do? So some random screw came off. And here it was, okay. So let me screw that back in so I don't lose that screw. Okay, so the way that I'm going to attach it, instead of sliding, sliding into it into the guide scope mount, I'm uh, going to um, I'm going to use uh, this, uh, which is just like a Vixen dovetail kind of thing, uh, and I will be mounting that on top of this particular uh, mount ring. So I have a standard hexagonal uh, screw for that. And it is a very neat uh, little, uh, little thing there. And we're just going to go in. I removed the handlebar from my particular telescope and we are going to screw that in. And I ended up actually screwing it at the back. The reason is that the uh, ring there, like uh, the tapping it's not very good and I was not able to screw in the screw very well. I would have needed a, a longer screw for it to work well. So uh, with my shorter screw, I'll just put it at the back, which is not a big deal, uh, but just, you know, uh, that's another drawback of this telescope with those guide rings, uh, not guide rings, with those uh, ring telescope rings, they could have some issues. So that's something to keep in mind. And next, I'll just slide my guide scope in. Haha, <laughs> and I'll just tighten it in. It's a normal, like a dovetail kind of thing. And here we are. And we are ready. Haha, <laughs> so this is good. We have the guide scope on. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try to install the computer 
the brain of everything and I'm not sure where I'm going to install it. I think I want to try installing it here without, you know, um, crippling the USB ports or any of the power ports, something like that. It isn't scary when I'm not securing it. And for that, I have joined two of my, whatever we call them, zip ties, whatever. And um, I am going to try and see if I can actually get this working. So here we are. This is not the most beautiful thing ever, but I think for now it will do. Uh, we'll see if there's a better way to attach that later on. This particular computer doesn't have any attachment points. Some computers do, but at least, you know, it doesn't go like inside the field of view of the guide scope. So everything should be fine like that. And I'll be able to attach my cables to that and run them directly uh, here, which is going to be nice, which means also that I may want to buy shorter cables. Up to now, I had this computer on one of the tripod legs. And so I needed long cables. Maybe I will no longer need that. One of the things I will actually insert as well in here is uh, my DC splitter. So I want to have enough uh, um, uh, power, um, whatever we call that, power cables to uh, basically have power to my uh, electronic focuser, to my camera, to my mount and to my dew shield, uh, and to my dew uh, heat heating band. So let's try to add that as well. So I'm just gonna <laughs> very simply slide that through like that and make sure it's outside of the field of view of the uh, of the guide scope and now I have my DC splitter in there so I'll be able to power everything so uh, let's start getting everything powered. So I'll change a bit the angle so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we are here. The first thing I want to do is provide power to everything. So I have another very hacky solution, uh, which involves um, a multi-plug kind of thing. Uh, and I'll be using this simply because I know that this mount is basically permanently here. Otherwise I'd be making sure that I have everything compatible with a 12 volt battery. But for me, I'll just put that like here and use one of those, um, whatever you call them, zip ties or, um, you know, Velcro ties. Let's call them Velcro ties around it on an area of the mount where I know, you know, nothing is too, uh, it will be moving except when I'm doing polar alignment in this particular case. And here I am, I have uh, basically secured that here. And the first thing that I'm going to put power on is the mount. So the mount actually came with a very annoying kind of adapter that is a two pronged adapter. I do not have any power cable to that. And the one that came with the mount is uh, a, a cigar plug, cigar, 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 whatever, a car, car type uh, of cable, which is nice for mobile batteries, sure, but not nice for me, which is why I have this, which is a power adapter that gives me a 12 volt, five amps to this kind of car plug. So I can do this and now I have uh, power. So I'll just put that, put that down here and we now are properly uh, powered. And I can try to basically keep most of the lengths of that uh, power adapter, like underneath uh, the, uh, the the tripod here. And what I'll do in the end is that would, whatever mess I have on that uh, spreader here, I'll be, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but I'm putting everything on the spreader. Uh, I'll be securing with a zip tie at the end. Okay, so now we have power to the mount. So we are, we're getting uh, in a good direction. The next, next thing that I want to power is my DC splitter, which I just installed on the computer. So for that, what are we gonna use? 
I have this adapter which is uh, 12 volt 3 amps which seems to be enough for my equipment I think normally you'd want a bit more than 3 amps but you know we'll, uh, we'll make do with what we have and so this one I'll want to run smartly that's probably a bit hard so I'll put the adapter on the spreader uh, for now okay and now we have this cable that we know we want to bring all the way here so to do that I might want to just like run it through here and then later I want to make sure that it will uh, never you know snap or, or basically hang somewhere so if I do that I'm, I know I'm, 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 already, I'm already having trouble so I may want to actually move this, uh, this is DC splitter a bit lower since anyway most of the stuff that this DC splitter is going to power is down there, down here so I could just move that here so we have more you know, room to, to work and play Okay, so I have my power cable and that is here and this should be, you know, enough play in the cable so that uh, the, uh, the telescope will never, you know, um, get hung onto that, that cable. I could even, you know, attach it here with another kind of uh, zip tie. So maybe I'll do that actually. something like this I guess it's not ideal because uh, this mount is very round all over and uh, this, will, this will work against the RA axis so let's forget about this idea for the moment we'll just uh, leave it be like that I might try to, uh, to enhance that later on it should not have that much of an impact uh, anyway but uh, next one next cable will be a cable that goes to the camera so I have my DC cables here we're going to plug that into the camera and immediately we can see that this could be shorter um, and tighter so that's something we'll want to uh, play with uh, next one will be for the focuser which is here oops I have the wrong cable in my hand Okay, we have the fo focuser hooked up and what is the other one? We have the mount focuser camera. Well, I'm, I'm having a bug, but I know that I will want to also connect a, a dew heater to any lens that I have in the system. And one of those lenses is actually my uh, guide scope. We wouldn't want like dew on the guide scope to basically make or to, to kill all of the session so on the guide scope I'm attaching my uh, a dew heater and here we are and this dew heater needs to be uh, powered as well so we're gonna run it through our velcro tie here just like the rest uh, this dew heater by the way is fully automated so it has in this little box uh, a temperature sensor uh, so it doesn't need any controller it will automatically regulate the temperature of my whole setup and I will connect that to one of the other ports so we've given power to the mount to the camera to the electronic focuser which is most of what we want to, uh, to power then we need to decide what to do with all of those uh, cables that are dangling around and I could simply you know try to tie them to, uh, to those knobs here now that could work because I'm not removing the, uh, the OTA very, uh, very often. Uh, so maybe that is what I am going to do. That way they're never like uh, in the way. Okay, so we don't have like those cables are not super loose. They're not too bad. I could do a better job, but 
Oh, I think this is going to, going to work fine for now. It's probably better than what I had before. Next is there is one more thing to do, which is powering the computer. Uh, if the computer was 12 volts, it would be very easy. I would just use one of my DC cables there. It is not 12 volts, so I actually need to power it with a 19 volt adapter. And I think I'll use those knobs in a similar way. Or maybe not, actually, I need this will be connected to something that is unmoving whereas the scope itself is moving so we need to have it uh, dangling so i am going to connect it to power here i'm going to put the power adapter here on the uh, spreader and then we have just uh, two cable going to the ota i think it is slightly better than what i originally had on my setup and this is what how I am going to do uh, my um, power cable cable management and hopefully you know it's gonna be fine uh, next step is USB so the next step will be USB uh, but I think uh, USB will do in the next uh, video because uh, this has gone on uh, long enough so today uh, we use like very simple uh, power cables uh, um, velcro ties there's nothing like you know in particular that is astronomy related i have my little computer at the top here everything is now connected uh, so in the following video we'll do the usb my usb cables are far too long i think so we'll see what we do about that to try to minimize the influence of the wind and to have a good cable management it's already starting to look like not very good uh, but you know we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there so thank you so much for watching uh, I hope this was useful. If you think this was useful, if you like this kind of video or you like Astro Gear reviews or you like technical videos about gain, offset, that kind of stuff. Uh, if all of this uh, is something that seems like it would interest you, please consider subscribing to the channel down below. Uh, there is a little notification bell next to the, to the subscribe button as well to be notified of my latest videos as soon as they are uploaded. Uh, so that would be awesome. Uh, please, if you like this video, please also drop a, a like down below. And if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, please feel free to go into uh, the comments uh, below. But we're slowly getting there. Uh, I hope you're uh, looking forward to it as much as I am because I'm getting really tired. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I hope this has, be this has been useful. Um, and, you know, as always, whenever you can, don't forget to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.